Oh, she's slowly, slowly moving around the edge. Oh, she's seen something. I think she's seen there's some white-faced whistling ducks that are hiding in the grass. And I said, I think they might have babies here. So uh, the white-faced whistling ducks, the last place I saw them was in there. So she's moved around to where it's quite thick. Now that would be a, a really good meal for her at the moment. And we're not going to be able to see her now, but we can't really move. We're just going to have to wait to see what happens. So she's, she's going to try and use these thickets here and just slowly try and make her way. I think the ducks are just behind there. This is very exciting. Come on, Jongile. I'm trying to see if I can spot her through the thickets. I can't at the moment. But you see how her whole body posture changed in a split second. There she is, there she is, there she is. She's right where the ducks are. Now the ducks are in that long grass somewhere and she might just leap into the water. Fingers crossed that she's gonna be successful. Come on, catch a duck. I can't see the ducks at the moment. I'm trying to see if any of the grass around her is moving, where a duck might be just trying to push its way through the grass. Look at that concentration on her face. Now, we're going to be watching. Watch her body carefully. See if she starts building latent energy, coiling those muscles to make a leap. Come on, Shongololo. Any little meal will help, even if it is the tiniest little grasshopper will be providing protein for her. She's displaying probably one of the most important hunting traits that any animal can have uh, if you're a predator, and that's patience. Because if you jump at the wrong time, now I wonder where that duck has gone. There was a couple of them. Project Mist is wondering how many meals do a leopard eat in a day? Well, there's no fixed rule and no set rule and it all depends at the moment she's very hungry she might have many small meals grasshoppers termites frogs mice birds terrapins turtles tet and and tortoises but normally uh, an adult leopard will eat every three to four days and three to four days and normally an impala or a diker or a stenbok or some other creature like that. But she's quite inexperienced. Um, 
her mom's only recently abandoned her so she hasn't quite mastered the art of hunting yet and she's also a bit small for certain species so she I think she's too small at the moment to take down an adult impala for example now her brother who's the same age but being a male is physically already much much bigger than her and he's probably capable of taking down an adult impala already but so on average they eat every three or four days as I said at the moment she's probably eating multiple small meals every day just to survive so patience 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 waiting for the duck to move one foul paddle Now, she's displaying patience, and I think it doesn't look like she's about to leap. I'm not seeing the muscles coil, uh, I'm not seeing her get ready for a spring. She is quite focused, but James has got something that might slither away. Well, we've managed to spot the white-faced duck. Unfortunately, I think it's a little bit too deep in the pan for Shungile to get to. Viam actually spotted it. There's two of them. Where? There's the one keeping very still and hiding in the long grass and the other one is out in the open well too far for Shungile to get to it but as I said they might have chicks now the chicks are quite small and they'll hang normally closer to the edges but <laughs> it looks like she is staring at the one that's probably mm, three or four meters into the into the pan which could be a little bit just a little bit too far for her uh, Justin's wondering how far and how high can a leopard jump well I've seen a leopard probably do 12 feet up and about 15 feet uh, vertic not vertically, parallel so they can jump very high and very far when they need to and the time when you see leopards doing the most spectacular jumps is generally on two occasions one, when they're hunting birds uh, especially guinea fowl and franklin they leap up, can leap very high to take those birds as they take off and the second is when they're trying to leap away from a potential threat like lions or hyenas or wild dogs for that matter sorry Shongo that duck's just too far for you so obviously it moved deeper in as she was sneaking around the edge I think it probably spotted her Of course, being a leopard and being an opportunist, uh, she might find a terrapin while she's waiting patiently for a chance at that white-faced duck. Well, morning, Soraya, who's in New Jersey. Uh, Soraya would like to know, is a terrapin uh, difficult? For Shungile to ingest. I, I wouldn't say it's difficult, the meat's not difficult for her to ingest. The only problem is she only gets to eat very small pieces of it unless it's a tiny terrapin. The, the shell will be too hard for her to break open so she'll probably only be able to eat the head, legs uh, and not get too much meat from it but uh, every little bit counts when uh, the game is survival. And she's being very, very patient. Oh, sounds like a red-backed shrike has found her. You can just hear that chip, 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 alarming at her. Mm. 
She might have seen something else now. But there's not that key focus we saw earlier. She almost looks quite despondent. Colleen's wondering, can she not smell the duck in the grass? Um, probably not. I think she can definitely see the duck in the grass uh, or see the movement of the duck. But as I said, the water is quite deep. I don't think she'll be able to make that in one pounce. Um, three meters, what's that? 12, 14 feet. And uh, she's a bit, a bit young to make that distance. And even then, the, the duck can take off and disappear quite quickly. Uh, and ducks have another very, very good defensive strategy is they can also dive under the water. So I think the chances of her being able to get to the duck uh, in time to have a, a decent chance at successfully catching it are very, very slim. I think she knows that as well. That's why uh, that you saw that laser focus she had earlier is now gone and she's doing what she was doing on the other side of the pan, just sitting, waiting, hoping uh, for a terrapin or something else to come a little bit closer. Now, when leopards sit patiently in, a, in an area, sometimes it's not what they're focused on that they catch, it's something else that might meander in and wander through. Uh, you never know, some Franklins might be heading down to feed on the nice grass seeds around the edge of the pan, and she might get luck there. Also around these pans, there's some in lots of different rodent species. Um, we've even got aquatic rodent species called cane rats, and that will be a very favorite food. We actually saw Cindile catch a few cane rats uh, many moons ago. But we're gonna sit here, play the patience game with Shongile. Fingers crossed she gets successful. So, but while we do that, let's see if James has managed to find any sign of her mom on Cheetah Cutline. 